than I intended. Uh, I have a two brain syndrome. Actually, I have multi brain syndrome. It's probably a better way to think of it. But uh, that means I have one part of my brain that plans one thing. And then I have another part of my brain that also plans something. And they don't talk to each other. And they're uh, uh, simultaneously planning for the same period of time. So I now have my ATC club uh, back up and running. It meets on Tuesdays from 11 to 1. But that means that I won't be doing my live at 11. Um, hopefully, I'll get in the habit of coming in a little earlier. And it'll be at 10. But for today, it's going to be now, which is what? 120. Yep. <laughs> so, um, uh, today, let me switch cameras. I'm going to be working with um, the 49 market that came in. I just couldn't resist it. It's so pretty. So I have my tag that uh, uh, tag die that I've been using. This is the um, graphic 45. And this paper is so it's so pretty. It's gonna be hard to know which one to use. Which piece? Which piece should I use? They're all so gorgeous. Oh my husband just locked in. Um, that's pretty. Maybe I'll just use that one. I'll use this color here. And now I need a pair of scissors. Of course, I don't have it on here. There we go. All right. I'm gonna be using my switch, which is here in the corner. And so I'm gonna build my little sandwich here. We were using it today with the embossing folders that came in um, recently. The uh, the Sizzix, new Sizzix ones from Tim Holt and from Sizzix. That was fun. That's what we were doing in ATCs today. If you're kind of curious what ATCs is about, here are the ones that I made today. Two of them. There's a third one somewhere. Give you an idea. Oh, the alarm is noise of the die cutting machine. So there is my tag, and because I'm a little bit of a hoarder, I'm going to save the paper. <laughs> oh yeah, so here are the ATCs I made today. This is um, a good example of kind of what we create. So I hope uh, that sounds interesting to you. It's 11 to 1 on Tuesdays here in the studio. We are back in person. Okay, so I'm going to use this side. I, I'm hoping you can see how incredibly well made this paper is it's so thick and the colors are so lush it's just beautiful stuff mm, okay so i'm gonna set that aside i've also pulled the uh, ephemera pack and the rub on transfer sheet this was on the inside so let me see let's do some fussy cutting Fussy cutting is the uh, the word for just cutting something out. It comes from, well, they use it in quilting. I don't know if it comes from quilting, but I used to use the word fussy cutting when I, when you cut out shapes in quilting to put them, to applique them onto things. So this is uh, the brand new stuff from 49 and Market. It's gorgeous. It's called Art Options Avesta. Avesta. I love it when they put stuff on the backside of the cover so you don't lose a piece of paper. Stamp period is the same thing. Which is awesome. Oh, I wonder if I'm getting to the end of that. It's a bummer.
Now, one thing I was planning to do today, I also got in a bunch of Dina Wakely uh, paints and the like. So I'm going to do a little bit of stenciling with one of her colors on this. So I'm going to use this Tim Holtz alphabet stencil and I'm going to use this sage color that she has. And I'm going to look around for my wedge. Fortunately not far. My silicone wedge that I'm going to use. And you can see this, it's sort of a nice soft tone. It um, goes with, it doesn't completely match, but it goes with the colors that I'm using. Smudge. This is a uh, sage, her sage color. And you know, I'm not usually that worried about whether or not I get a perfect impression. That's fine with me that it's a little smudgy there. And this is a regular body. This is a regular body paint, so it's uh, it's not a texture paint, which is part of why it's smudged. I'm going to take this little extra paint and just... gonna add a little more now you know when you're doing this sort of thing if you don't like it put another layer on top so let's see bit of a background there and now I'm going to let's see actually I'm going to start with these rub-ons they're gorgeous so dramatic and beautiful and uh, with these big ones you just get the one sheet and they all, they all come with a little tool like that so I'm just going to think about I actually think I want this one I'm not going to be able to use all of it, so that's fine. and save that for another project and then it's just literally just peel the backing off find where you want to place it and then rub it down thing is if it doesn't adhere you just put it back down again in place and rub it off
Wow, look at that. It's been like three minutes and I already got something going here. Love it. Okay, so the next thing I want to play with is these ephemera bits. And um, I've had my eye on several pieces of them already. imagery there lots of things to say this is a very um complete set. Lots of, lots of stuff in here to choose from. Okay, so let's see. What do I want this to say? Um, I like this. And for this, I'm going to start using uh, my foam tape. So I've got a little loft. Have a plan here. I'm just plunking stuff until it feels good. I like that little layer there. already I hope you can see you can see the color and how pretty the cut the tones are on something. I don't want to cover that butterfly up. What might have made behooved me is to sort out the sayings ahead of time, though I do I don't like where that's going already, just the way it is. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like the light is weird and that you can't see the 
colors properly. But you can always come in. I put the um, tags up behind me when I'm done. So you can always come in and see them. I wish I had. I wish I had my butterflies. Butterflies. So there's a butterfly. I'm just going to cut that out. Fussy cut it and add it to this. This is going to give the dimension that I'm looking for. <laughs> People in the store. Hi, Renee. I'll come talk to you in a bit. <laughs> Here. I normally try to time my lives so that I do them before I open, so I don't have an issue with this. But again, two brains, multi brain issues. Add a little layer of dyslexia on that too, and it's a it's a wonder wonder that I get anything done on time or at the right time or that I function at all. This is the fussy cutting part right where you get into these little bits. That's what might makes it look good though, so. Now that butterfly is nice and established. Let's see what happens if I add some flowers. talking coffee shop in the other room. We have a coffee shop across the street that we just opened. I invite you to come down, do some craft shopping, go over, get a um, latte, sandwich, gourmet candy bar. We got it all over there. Trying to make it work for everybody. Okay. So I'm going to actually bring this up a little bit by putting 
two layers. So I'm going to put two together like this. So I have a double. So I have a little bit of height there. is coming together. That's what I like. There. Sweet. So, I'm hoping you can see this and the colors that are in it. Um, simple, fold it together. One thing that I could do is come along and maybe put a little bit of ink on the edges. That might be something I follow up with. Uh, you could add a picture of a person, you know, on top. Um, yeah, there's. you can add to this, but I'm pretty happy with the way, the way it looks. And I just... I wish the color was a little more vivid in the video because it, in person it's very pretty. Um, all right, so that was that's it for Tag Tuesday today. Um, I hope that that inspired you to pull out your scrapbook papers or come down and pick up this beautiful set from uh, 49 and Market. It's gorgeous. And um, I mean, all of their papers are very, very, very pretty. So hopefully there's something here that appeals to you. But I hope that that was... Um, inspiring and uh, that I'll see you here. All right. See you tomorrow, everyone. Bye.